Jankovic. And I'm Daila Chahaj. We are students of Richmond Barn College and today in this video we will be presenting our project which is called The Past Saves the Forest. In this project we discuss the plant and its negative as well as its positive sides. It is normally an invasive species and it grows rapidly but we have found a way to make it useful. In the project, we indicated that the Japanese knotweed is also present in Unasana Canton. Even though it ruins roads and rivers, it can also be healthy. We got interested in this plant. We have found that it is a great photoremediator, which means it can absorb a good portion of heavy metals, uh, such as zinc, uh, cadmium and lead. In the second part, we also showed that it's a great alternative for making pellets, which is a good way to save the forest for excessive logging. So, as the first part of the project, we discussed the property of this plant, which is phytoremediation. Firstly, we collected samples of Japanese knotweed, like stems, roots, and leaves. Then, we analyzed the sa samples and dissolved it in nitric acid, filtering it with filter paper and supplementing with ionized water to 50 milliliters. Then, we read the values of the AAS. Having that concluded, we moved on to the second part of our project, which was the production of pellet. As a first step, we found a location uh, where uh, stems, uh, dry stems, were able, we were able to find. And then, in the second step, uh, we took them and uh, dried them for 20 days. And afterwards, we crushed them, made them into sodas, and made them into this pellet. Afterwards, we packed them into five different categories, uh, which we classified according to the, uh, to the percentage of uh, the Japanese knotweed in the pellet, uh, which we named D1 with 10% uh, of Japanese knotweed, D2 with 20, D3 with 30, D4 with 40, and D5 with 50. After we packed those in uh, those. Uh, pellets in those categories. We tested each uh, with three different tests, uh, for, including the calorimetry, using the calorimeter as here. The results and discussion. The first test, uh, which was uh, collecting the leaf roots and stem, analyzing it with AAS, showed to have quite efficient results, such as seen above. Here we can see that we have used, uh, we have tested different uh, heavy metals such as lead, cadmium, and zinc, and we have this test has, has proven that uh, it's very efficient, uh, of especially the root and stem, as seen here. The results of calorimetry showed that Japanese knotweed is indeed a good biomass for making pellet. Uh, which the 3D sa D3 sample is shown uh, to be the most efficient one. These are the results of the calorimetry test. Uh, the first test being fixed carbon concrete pellets, and it shows that D3 is the most suitable uh, percentage of making pellets. The second one also uh, going in its uh, favor, and the third one also uh, meaning that uh, the less the values are on this test, it showed that the better the quality of the pellet uh, is. It'll be a long process to introduce this alternative, but in the end, it's good and healthy, cheap, and also, at the end, a test saves the day. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope that these kind of projects will go forward, which will mean a lot to our forests and, uh, and the general health. In the end, we hope to help the environment and we can never give the earth as much as it has given to us but we can sure try thank you